puff paper. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl praising I'm back with another video. So today I'm doing a highly requested video. I'm doing a video that loads of people asked me to do after my GCSE results day video, which if you haven't watched, you should go and watch. Link in the description box like below, below, below. Um, I'm just gonna come all out with the revision tips today. Bear in mind, these tips worked for me. They might not work for you, but hopefully they do. We shall see, but without further ado, let's get into the video. So first tip is specification. So each subject that you're doing for your exam board has a specific specification. For example, I was, for sciences, I was AQA. For maths, I was Excel. For art, I was OCR. So they're all different. So they all expect different things. That's why I'd recommend that for all your subjects you know what exam board you're on and you print out the specification so, for example i have here my geography folder and i was aqa for geography what i did was i printed out the specification and put it in a folder like this and so if you can see here i printed out the specification and put it all in one folder that way when i was revising i could go through each point and know what I was supposed to learn and what I needed to learn and that way it helps you separate what you do know and what you don't know so once you did know something you could tick it off in the specification which I did but if I didn't know something I could highlight it and know that I need to go back on it and that's what helped me just keep going through it and do that for all your subjects in my opinion your specification is your best friend next up we have your revision strategy so I think that the best way to revise for your GCSEs and to get the best results is doing like productive studying so copying out notes which I originally did like earlier on in the year is just a no-go do not do it it's pointless I like it's just pointless you need to find revision strategies that are helpful for you so it might not be the same for all subjects but for like me history best way I revise were flashcards for history geography best way i revised were mind maps sciences best way i revised were flashcards for that as well what i liked is most about flashcards is that you're constantly testing yourself but it's basically different for whatever subject you're doing but that does not mean that it will be the same for all your subjects you just have to find what works for you and go with that but just make sure it's productive i repeat do not do not copy your notes is pointless my third tip which i think is one of the most important tips when you're like going up to closer to exam season is past papers so maths the only way you i revised for maths was just doing past papers continuously like constantly like keep going but yeah just stack them up keep going because the only way you can revise for maths is by doing questions but if you do like have specific topics that you don't understand or you find difficult what i do recommend is going on save my exams they have basically have like subtopics for specific subjects that you're taking and print it out and do those questions for that topic that you find difficult and once you learnt it keep going don't stop save my exams is also useful for your sciences too so it is basically math and science but they do have all the subtopics for your different like sections in the subject and that is what i find really useful those are my top three tips next i'm now going to go into like the resources that i used which you guys also asked for so let's get into that part too so for maths as i said past papers are the most useful thing you could possibly do and when i say past papers don't wait till like the last week before your exam to be doing past papers like do one every week if you want and like go over mark it see what you don't get right and then go on to save my exams pick that specific subsection and then tell yourself that's what you're going to work on for resources that i used i used the cgp nine to one maths book save my exams which i've said before websites that i would recommend is maths watch and maths made easy for english i'd recommend doing past papers too and 
another thing for english i will not repeat this again is read your book and i also made mind maps for specific characters what i did for english is that i made my mind maps for each of my characters and all the themes in my book and i found this really useful so i'd have the name of the character in the middle and then their traits around the outside and quotes that they've said also around the the page too and i'd also sometimes do it in different colors to differentiate and sometimes and be able to remember what i learned and yeah that's how i revise for english for sciences if you haven't already i'd really recommend these three books for your sciences depending on what example you're in so and also another thing I'd recommend is past questions A1 and flashcards mind maps is how I revise for sciences websites I would recommend is Seneca learning it basically teaches you the information that makes you answer questions on them and what I did the night before or the day before if I didn't have an exam I'd go on the website go to the biology G section and answer every single question on the biology page for chemistry i use free science lessons which is very helpful in my opinion and science with hazel she's a good one too and um, for geography i use my specification again so basically just use your specification as a checklist i answered questions and i used the cgp revision guide for geography too as well as mind maps and notes so I have some mind maps here for what I made for geography. So I made ones like this. And I basically just did that for most of my topics in geography. Because that's how I found it. Make flashcards, make anything that works for you. History, specification, basically everything. I just use my specification. Resources I used my flashcards i made four of these because i did four topics in history and I so here what i do is i put the questions on the front then on the top left hand corner i'd have the usa so the actual topic and then the subtopics would go on the top right hand side and on the back i just have the answer to the questions and that's how i found it really useful or history other websites which i recommend you guys to use if you are looking for like resources are save my exams revision world tez cgp revision guides and the online website to mass watch go conquer as a revision timetable that you can make get revising and seneca learning thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions that you'd like to know don't be scared to ask them i can answer them for you if you do have any more videos that you would like me to do for specific subjects i'm fine with doing that too thank you guys for watching and i will see you next week with another video go 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 shorty it's your birthday we're gonna party like it's your birthday we're gonna say